Hi everybody, it's Danielle from Haverford Township Free Library and welcome to this week's Pajama Story Time. It's still April, which means it's still Poetry Month. So I'm going to start our Pajama Story Time with a poem from this book called In the Middle of the Night, Poems from a Wide Awake House. I thought it would be fitting for Pajama Story Time. This is by Laura Purdy Salas. And the poem I'm going to read is called Animals on the Go. Lion flips, monkey snips, dolphin drums, dragon strums, hippo rides, chameleons hide, octopus skates, juggles plates. What goes on from dark till dawn? Animals are on the go in a late night talent show. That was a short poem. But it's a good segue into our book for tonight, which is The Animals Would Not Sleep. And this is by Sarah Levine. The Animals Would Not Sleep. The animals were making a ruckus. It's getting close to bedtime, Marco's mom said. Time to put away your toys. You mean time to sort the animals, Marco said. That's what a scientist would do. He put each animal where it belonged. Marco made signs for his baskets. So he's got one sign there for flying animals, one for swimming animals, and one for animals that move on land. But the animals would not go to sleep. Fly, swim, slither, leap, crawl. They egged one another on until not one remained in its container. <sighs> Perhaps they just weren't tired enough yet. Marco gave, Marco gave them a little more time to get their wild out. Marco, his mom called, almost ready? Um, almost. Marco called back. Marco studied his menagerie as a good scientist would. Maybe the animals would have better behavior if they were organized differently. He made new signs and tucked the animals in their appropriate baskets. So this time he sorted them by color. So this one says mostly brown, this one says black and white, and this one says colors of the rainbow. But Zebra was upset. While he didn't mind sleeping next to Stingray and King Snake, he missed his friend Giraffe. He started crying. Marco felt terrible. You're probably just overtired now. That's why it seems like such a big deal, he told Zebra. He dumped all the animals out. Maybe he should group them by size. So medium-sized Zebra and medium-sized Giraffe could be together. So there he made new signs. He has small, medium, and large. It was hard to fit the large ones into their basket, but Marco squeezed them all in. He started to put his pajamas on, but he didn't get far. A terrible sound was coming from the basket labeled large. Marco peered inside. I'm smushed, Dinosaur said. My spikes are bent. I'll never fall asleep. Me neither, said Dancing Flamingo. My neck is cramped. It did, it did look uncomfortable. Plus, I miss Rainbow Bear, Dancing Flamingo added. What's going on in here, Marco's mother asked. Are you getting ready for bed? I'm trying, Marco said, but my animals aren't cooperating. Now he heard squeaking and buzzing from the small animal bin. What's going on in there? Marco asked. Baby Mouse wants his mommy, Spotted Dottie explained. Also, it's too cold for us in this big drafty basket, Turtle added. Two more minutes, Marco's mother called. Marco had to think fast. Being a scientist, he was used to coming up with ideas and thinking outside the box. He dumped the animals back onto the floor. 
Can't I just sleep in your bed tonight? Whined Birthday Bear. Yellow Bear started crying for no reason at all. Everyone was getting cranky and time was running out. Marco knew that good scientists care about their animals. Helping them feel safe and cozy was important. He also knew that sorting could still work. He placed the large animals at the foot of his bed, where there was plenty of room to stretch out. He placed the medium animals along the wall. He placed the small animals behind his pillows, where they would feel snug and warm. He leaped into bed just in time. Everything was quiet and still when his mother came in to say good night. Good night, Mama, Marco said. Sleep tight, Marco, said his mom. Looks like you got everyone sorted and settled in. Yeah, well, that's what a scientist can do. Look, there they are, all snuggled together in bed. Everyone's happy. And if you wanted to check this book out, there's more about how to sort with science. You can sort by mammals and amphibians and reptiles, vertebrates and invertebrates. You can sort them using math. So there's a lot more to this book if you're interested. How do you sort your animals when you go to bed? My cats just, you know, they just sleep wherever they want to sleep. But my little girl has got a lot of animals and sometimes she sorts them by brothers and sisters, sometimes she sorts them by only, sometimes she sorts them by animals, by small ones, by large ones, or whatever it is that she comes up with that day. When she makes her bed, she sorts her animals in all different ways. So let's do a little song before we do our silly lullaby. Since we did an animal poem and an animal book, let's do an animal song. I wanted to do my dog rags. So can you go like this? That's pretty easy, right? Can you go like this? That's pretty easy too. So this is the flip flop. This is the wiggle waggle. And this is the zigzag. Can you go like this? Zigzag. So we have flip flop, wiggle waggle, zigzag. And it goes to a song like this. Know a dog and his name is Rag. He eats so much that his belly sags. His ears flip flops and his tail wig wags. And when he walks, he goes zigzag. It goes flip flop, wiggle waggle, zigzag. It goes flip flop, wiggle waggle, zigzag. It goes flip flop, wiggle waggle, zigzag. I love Rags and he loves me. That's all. You want to do it again? No? We'll just move on to our silly lullaby. All right. So grab your snuggle buddy, whether that's your grown up, whether that's your sibling, whether that's a pillow, a stuffed animal, whether it's a pet, whether it's yourself, and give yourself a big, big, big hug and get ready for our silly lullaby from Sandra Boyton. Ready? Everybody all snuggled in? Yep. Good? Okay. Go to sleep, my zoodle, my fibbledy fitzy foo. Go to sleep, sweet noodle, it's time to say achoo. The chicken's in the bathtub, the closet full of sheep. The sneakers in the freezer are drifting off to sleep. Go to sleep, my zoodle, my fibbledy fitzy foo. Go to sleep, sweet noodle, the owl is whispering, moo. And with that, we say good night. And thank you so much for coming to Pajama Storytime. If you didn't know, we are open again. We are open. You can come inside and check out books and say hi to us. We would love to see you. I hope you join me next week. Bye for now.